Yo, what's good guys? We're back on the game after uh, quite the break. Today we're going to be going over pitch tunneling. I have touched on it in some of my other guides. I have not gone in depth. So that's what this video is going to do. If it is helpful at any point, I would urge you guys to like and subscribe if you have not already. Um, so let's get into it. Let's do some basic tunnels. Um, I'm not going to go over how to pinpoint. I'm not going to go over uh, how to sequence or anything like that. Sequencing and tunneling goes together, right? Being a good pitcher in this game comes down to uh, sequencing, uh, like mechanics, like execution, are you throwing perfect pitches, and tunneling. Um, so those would be my three main components. Um, so the first pitch we'll start with is this four seam up and in, as you can see. I don't know if I'll throw it perfect every time can see very successful pitch there very common to see online against like a lefty pretend there's a lefty in the box right now so you can see how this pitch looks basically the exact same as that four seam um, until it breaks and we're hoping for like a foul ball or something like that off of that pitch so that's why we're throwing that we're hoping the batter reads that it's still a four seam up and in and then the cutter dives in induces weak contact or even maybe a swing and miss if it is like a slower cutter um, another tunnel that is very prevalent at low ranks that you might see is if you can establish just low and in fastball um, and make them respect it. In future at bats, you can go to this low and in slider, which should be a strikeout pitch. Um, on lower difficulties, there's a pretty good chance it's a foul ball, but hopefully it would be a strikeout pitch. Um, Pedro has some other pitches, right? Some of the basics of pitch tunneling is almost every pitch can be tunneled with every other pitch. Um, I would urge you guys to have pitch trail on in your settings so you can see what the ball looks like coming out of the hands. You can see this four seam has a little run on it, which you probably would not necessarily expect if you could not see the pitch trail. So we're trying to match this. So like say I wanted to simulate that pitch to the batter's eye, I would throw the circle change right about here. Um, and that's pretty much what tunneling is. You can tunnel about every pitch with every other pitch in the game. Um, but there is varying like degrees of success. There are better tunnels than others. Um, so we'll hop into another one here. Randy Johnson, everybody's seen Randy online, was the most dominant pitcher. Um, not really anybody's using him anymore unless they're wild carding him, but I'm sure he will be back later in the year. Um, and he has a very successful tunnel online, two very successful tunnels. Um, the first one is going to be establishing this low um, fastball with him you can see he has that sidearm arm angle so his four seam doesn't really drop or rise it just kind of stays flat um, and then you're tunneling this with the splitter which looks the exact same to the hitter um, until it's not there is a very 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 small tail that it is the splitter um, they have very similar rotations a four seam looks a lot like a splitter it's the reason why you get so many swings and misses on it it's the reason why you can oftentimes online just spike the splitter in the dirt and a batter will swing at it thinking it's a fastball. Um, obviously, Randy does have that other tunnel that we just mentioned where you can throw like low and away um, four seams to like a lefty or something and then tunnel that with a low and outside slider. Um, and then bang, right? The batter's swinging through. He's thinking it's the fastball again. He's early. Um, he's probably either going to pull that slider for absolutely no power or he'll just swing through it. Um, so that's a good tunnel. Randy also has the same tunnel as some guys like John Donaldson and Paul Skeens has, where you can tunnel his slider with his slur. Um, they do not look even remotely close to identical, um, but let's say I'm actually putting that slider where I want, like low and in the zone. You can throw this low and out the zone. Obviously, I'm just ter pitching terribly right now, uh, but that pitch still ended up in a good spot, right? You can see how those two kind of look the same out the hand. Um, another thing you can do is if your opponent, if you've been throwing them uh, middle end fastballs um, and they're taking those, they have a very discerning eye. They're taking a lot of those. You can oftentimes just hook the slider in um, and they'll read it out the hand as another fastball and it'll creep over the plate. It's still a strike for you. That's kind of, you know, spoiling the, uh, the cutter tunnel um, that I'm going to kind of get more into as we get into some of our other pitchers. Um, you can see we want to be in pitching. Uh, DeGrom, right, one of the most prevalent pitches online, one of the best pitches every single year is the sinker. Um, they try to nerf it by making the par expand as you go up in the zone, uh, but it's still not super duper effective, right? 
So um, basically with the sinker, what you typically want to do is either jam the hitter with it or steal these inside strikes. You can see our par is extremely big here. Um, so what I'm going to do is go change my pitching difficulty just so I can simulate and kind of throw it um, where I want more. You can see we'll go on like beginner and the par will just be ridiculously small. So um, you can see here, if we are throwing the sinker here, um, a lot of times it's going to steal strikes. It's going to catch that inside part of the zone. Um, and the reason that it is, is because they are used to taking these four seams. If you're throwing these uh, middle and four seams and they're taking them over and over and over again, um, a good pitch to throw is kind of hook that sinker in there. They'll read it as a four seam and then they'll take um, and it will find that back part of the zone. Um, another tunnel you can do is try to steal these outside strikes with the sinker um a lot of times they'll register it as something else and either take it or they'll think it's something more down the middle and then the sinker kind of breaks back outside and induces either weak contact or a swing and miss um so degrom does have a circle change so we can cover this next tunnel that i wanted to cover um obviously like i said you can tunnel everything with everything else but there are more effective ones um so you can see what the sinker looks like out the hand and then if I step off and pick a circle change, you can see it is basically the exact same. The only difference to the hitter is going to be a slight rotational difference. Um, they can kind of pick up on the, the way the ball is spinning, and it will kind of tip the pitch. Um, but it does look the exact same out the hand. It drops in the same manner. Um, and that is another really good tunnel is throwing the circle change. Uh, you can also tunnel it with a regular four seam, but the spin's a little different, and typically they come out the hand at different angles. So if you were going to tunnel it with the four seam, you'd put like the four seam there, and then probably the circle change like there. Um, and that's how you would tunnel that. Um, DeGrom has the slider in the fastball again, so you know you can throw that high and in um, four seam, and then throw this middle in sinker, and hopefully jam them, maybe get like a broken bat or something. Uh, DeGrom also has some pretty dangerous tunnels, which is why he's like a volatile pitcher to use online most of the time. Um, you can sit here and spam these up and in fastballs, and then if they start to really sit on that, you can start snapping off this curveball right about here. Um, and initially, it will look like the fastball out of the hand um, until it starts to drop. And if the batter does not have the discipline to sit back on that, it will either be um, an early home run, it will be a very late panic swing pop-up, or they will actually sit back and probably make good contact on it. But it is not extremely likely if you are tunneling it in that way. Um, so on to our next pitcher, um, John Donaldson, everybody's favorite online right now, probably the best online pitcher in the game. And there's a reason for that. He has some very good tunnels. He's got, again, that same um, tunnel as what Randy has with the outlier fastball. And then the fork ball, which does not have the exact same spin as the splitter. It is a little easier to discern. Um, but the thing is with John, it is a slower pitch. Randy's uh, splitter is getting up to 86, 88 miles an hour a lot of times. That's a recipe for foul balls. That's a recipe for them to sit back on it just enough to hit it hard. Um, John's is a lot slower. You can also kind of tunnel the fork ball with the sinker a little bit, not as much. Um, but those are very good, right? So John has that fastball and sinker tunnel. He has that fastball and slider tunnel. He has the fastball and the forkball tunnel. Um, and he has that slurve and the slider tunnel. Um, that's a, one of the main reasons John's so good is you don't really know what he's throwing until it's out of his hand. You can throw these front door sliders with him online because he has the outlier. Um, and these type of pitchers, you don't have to tunnel well with them. You can still do online you can still do well online with those pitchers without necessarily tunneling. But if you can tunnel, it's going to make it way easier. Um, and it's going to get you a lower ERA and more strikeouts. Corbin Burns has some fun ones. He is a fun pitcher to tunnel with. Um, there is arguably no pitcher better in the game when you're on with to pitch with than Corbin Burns. He can absolutely melt some semi-decent players. A lot of good players have kind of gotten fatigue of him. Um, they've just seen him too much over the years. They're going to light him up like a Christmas tree. Um, but against newer players or players that just don't hit that well, he can be absolutely filthy if you're tunneling right. Um, a lot of times online, people are taking this pitch because they're reading it as being an outside fastball. 
Um, and that's because they're reading the spin. They're not expecting it to cut back inside in the way that it does. Um, and then when they do start to swing in that, what you go, where you go from there is you start throwing the sinker outside. And that just gets you weak contact. It gets you rollovers. It gets you swings and misses. Um, so that's a nasty little tunnel with him. Um, you have the cutter and the slider. A lot of times you can just throw the inside cutter um, and it'll catch part of the plate. And then you can throw the further inside slider um, and they'll read it as the cutter. They're swinging through it every time or they'll foul it or they'll hit pop up. Um, so that's a good one. Um, with him, I would not necessarily throw that like cutter curveball tunnel. I don't think that's too effective. But again, he has that sinker um, circle change tunnel, which is super nice. Um, Corbin Burns is just such a fun pitcher to pitch with. You get to steal strikes all the time. Um, he's just he's super neat. Um, you can see that little sequence that we did there was low and away sinker, middle wing cutter, low and away circle change. Um, and that's 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 a working combo online that can get you strikeouts. Um, another Brewers pitcher that can do a lot of similar things is Devin Williams. This guy is BP when you're not using him right. When you are, he is somewhat nasty. Um, so you throw this middle in four seam. You establish that early. You want them hitting off of that because of how much slower your other two pitches are. He has a very slow cutter. You can float that in. Looks the exact same until it starts breaking, except it's way slower. It's going to get you a lot of early contacts, weak contact, um, swings and misses. And then this is a very fun one to throw. You can throw this up and insert screwball. And it looks basically the same until it stops, starts to drop, and it is so slow. It's going to be hard for batter to sit back on. Um, you can see that's where it will drop to. So if we wanted to set that up, we would throw this high and away four seam. We would get that for a strike. Um, and then we would throw this right about here. And you can see until it starts to drop, it looks basically the exact same to the hitter. Um, and then if you wanted to, you know, be a little more conservative and not have to throw strikes, you can dot the four seam there. Um, and then we're looking at a screwball below the zone where it just can't get hit hard whatsoever. Um, and that's one of the reasons Devin Williams gets lit up a lot online. People are not tunneling with him. They're not sequencing correctly with him. Uh, he can be dirty, um, but you probably want to be on higher difficulty um, if you are doing that. Uh, Felix, Felix, there's a reason this dude is so hard to hit, and it's not just his funky delivery and the outlier. It's the pitches. All of his pitches, all of his pitches tunnel with each other. What do I mean by that? Um, you can see we've got this four seam, right? He's got the Randy tunnel um, of the four seam into the splitter. He also has the four seam into the slider. They look the exact same. All of them have basically the same spin. The slider is a little different than the other two. But out of the hand, it still kind of looks like a fastball. So um, with all that and the outlier and the weird release Felix has, he really does turn hitting into a guess game, especially on those higher difficulties where you're just looking for one out of the three pitches um, and hoping to foul the other ones. Um, and that's just that's the power of Felix. Like Felix is very good. If they ever do give him a cutter, look for that four seam cutter um, combination. Look for that cutter slider combination. Um, would not throw it with the splitter, but that's one of the reasons Felix is so good, and I was singing his praises all of the last season. Um, and then I think we had one more, um, but I'm not even seeing them on the roster. Um, so, yeah, guys, that is pretty much tunneling in a nutshell. I'll go through some stuff with Pedro here, um, but that's pretty much tunneling. Um, just practice it, really. Um, just try to set stuff up. See what looks like other pitches. Um, you know, if you're throwing this high and away, think of like, how can I combo off of this? You probably don't want to throw a slider down the middle. Um, but what you could do is maybe throw this cutter high and then it's going to look the same for a millisecond and then the cutter will rise a little bit. Um, and hopefully their bat will be off of it. So, um, that's basically tunneling, right? You're trying to make one pitch look like the other, fool the batter. Um, usually you're not hoping for a strikeout. You're hoping for weak contact. Um, in a perfect world, you would strike out every batter, um, but that's not how it goes, especially on the lower difficulties where it is so easy to foul stuff off in this game. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it. Sorry about the you know long period of not uploading. It's been uh, going on five days now, I think. So uh, I do apologize for, to, for that. 
um, hopefully we can get back on a semi like regular schedule soon. Um, been busy with like 2K and stuff and just there's not really too much to do on the show right now. Uh, but hopefully I can get some content back. I think the ship has kind of sailed on the show. The people that are still here are kind of diehard at this point in the year. Um, and then all the fair weather fans have kind of gone to uh, 2K and FIFA and uh, Madden and whatnot. Um, the yearly Call of Duty release is coming up, I think. So, um, yeah, so views are down, but it's fine. We are staying on the grind. Look forward to an Inside the Mind soon. Hopefully, I will be streaming. Um, maybe I'll stream like 2K or something. I don't know. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy the content, feel free to like. Feel free to subscribe. Till next time. Peace.